Hello and welcome. It's the chat, and I am Manny. It's a waste of time trying to describe my guests on the program, but could he possibly be one of the greatest Nigerians alive? Let's find out. Professor Victor Uwaifo is a composer, guitarist, sculptor, performer extraordinaire, the first African to win a Golden Disc Award for his album, Jurumi, and the pioneer commissioner for arts, culture, and tourism in Edo State. Born 80 years ago on the 1st of March, Sir Victor Uwaifo, as he is fondly called, attended Western Boys High School in his hometown and later St. Gregory's College, Lagos. He subsequently proceeded to Yaba College of Technology, Lagos, from where he obtained a National Arts Diploma with distinction and was an outstanding athlete. An alumnus of the University of Benin, where he obtained a BA Honors, First Class in Fine and Applied Arts, Master's Degree in Sculpting, a PhD in Architectural Sculpture, and also served as a professor for several years. In his early days after school, he joined the NTS, now known as NTA, as a graphic artist before forming a musical band, the Melody Maestros. He and his band recorded hits like Siwo Siwo, Arabaldi, feeding off the rich folk culture of the ancient Benin Kingdom. He succeeded in creating popular music forms like Sasakosa, Ekasa, Titibiti, and Akwiti. Sir Victor's endless stream of hit songs like Guitar Boy and many others have ruled the airwaves for many years. His all-time mega-hit song, Joromi, is reputed to be the first African song to win a Golden Disc Award in 1965. As an innovator, the maestro self-designed and produced a car built of fiberglass called Vision Zero One. He popularized the double-neck guitar with 18 strings designed the sixth finger, a device used to twang the guitar, and in the heat of several shows, rolled his guitar 360 degrees, suspending it in air at amazing speed. Sir Victor is a recipient of several awards. He is documented in the Groove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, Volume 8, documented in the Men and Women of Distinction in the Commonwealth, and the recipient of the National Honor of Member of the Order of the Niger, more recently, Sir Victor was honored as UNESCO's Living Human Treasure in 2017. He has been married for over 30 years with children and grandchildren. It's just not possible to wish you away. You know, 600 songs, 100 records, and Jeremy became you know, a gold disc winner. This is a song you recorded in 1965. That's right, correct. What were you thinking about when you were putting that song together? It wasn't my first song to start with. Yeah. I started recording from 1960. But what, was... What, was, what, was the, what was the background to the song Jeremy itself? Because I know all your songs have some traditional backgrounds. Yeah, right. We'll take them one at a time, but you know, Jeremy in particular, what was the background behind that song? Jeremy. I uh, was a great warrior, wrestler, who conquered the whole world and uh, wanted to transcend to beyond this world to the other world where you have other wrestlers with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heads. They call them boogie. It's like they're like devils or something like that. We went there to challenge them in a single combat. And that was the the, the, the fight that uh, took place uh, in heaven, you know, in hell, not heaven, hell. And he took them one after the other, knocking their heads off and telling that they were better off with one head each. Was that how you were feeling when you were? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because that was the some assaulting. Okay. But then hit the gun. Kiss it. 
take you back to your beginning. I think you started, it was Victor Weifel and the Melody Maestros. Melody Maestros, right. And then you, you, you kept transforming your music. From the Maestros, you moved into, was it Akwete? The, the, or the, the, a, a Casa? Those were genres. Genres of, genres of, of genres music, of, yes. Uh, Akwete, Mutaba, um, the Shadow Dance, then uh, Akasa, Sasakosa, then Titibiti. What was this all about? Is it out of restlessness or what? <laughs> it was a form of research. <laughs> For example, the Casa music, is, uh, it belongs to our heritage, Benin. So when you um, crown a new over, you know, the only coronation is the Casa music is performed. So that gave birth to the Casa music. There are tied some rattles. In fact, the rattles tied on the ankles. Are called the casa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. And the casa music is tied to. Oh, the, okay. The, the, the so, whenever you have to. Yes. Eventually, you went into another genre of music. Is it um, uh, Sasakosa? Was it? Yeah. So, as I said earlier, these are. And it ended up in metamorphosis, you know? Yeah. The metamorphosis of yes. different genres of, of sound, you know. And then uh, we have not ended. It's still. To beat it, we are not, you're just flying, we're still flying to the beat. It gives so, you so a, there'll to, be another thing fly. called, you know, something else yeah. after to beat it. Yeah. But oh, they yeah. all belong to our music. You are incredible. The other yes. day I saw you recording in your studio. Okay, that's right. You're right. What keeps you going? Mentally, physically, and spiritually. There are three things in life that I consider very important. The mental, I'm still reading, and um, physically I build, I still work out, and then spiritually, I meditate a lot. I don't have a private shop. You know, talking about you being an inventor, you invented an automobile. Yes, I did. It's How Oscar, could you? And I drove it to a How could you? I, I mean, where, where did you get the knowledge of, you know, What is bad there? was that when I was doing my first degree in the university, I came across this fiberglass, which is also used to build boats and then uh, aircrafts and so on. So I decided, to say, why not a car? And its light is as strong as steel, you know, the, the, um, the, the, it's lighter in weight than steel with. At least fifty percent lighter, yes. But but the strength, tensile strength, is just equal to steel. So I decided to build the sports car. I did the design, and I did, did the mold, and I cast it and built it. So that was, and I can't cast. How long did it take you to do this? I mean, less than within six months. Within six months. I don't think I'll be forgiven if I don't ask this question about Guitar Boy. Yeah? Was that really an encounter between you and a water mermaid? Or what you call mammy water? Yeah. Was that an encounter? But, yeah, that's about 50 years ago. You know, I I made my, what do you call it, uh, hit in Lagos. In fact, it took me only five years, within five years, that I hit the limelight and I returned back to Benin. So we, at that time, then I was still working for NTS, now known as NTA. NTA. Yes, NTA now. I, you were in a graphic, a graphic, a graphic department. department. Yeah. So each time, at the end of the day, sometimes we close because television was not a net business, but just between 6 o'clock and mm. 9 p.m. or 10 yeah. p.m. And then you are done. So each time we close, I would take time off. It was just a, a whistle away from the barbage. The barbage. I would just go there and, you know, looking for inspiration. One evening, I stayed long, stayed late into the night. Moonlight, it was bright, bright moonlight. 
the wave was becoming very restless. Watches against the beach, the uh, sand beach. And each time I move my camp bed forward backwards. And it was advancing. Each time to recede and come and see. So I was wondering what was going on. And at a distance, I looked towards my right. And I saw a glittering figure, you know, almost blinding, shining, grayish, but, but silverish. And I thought, I thought, I, I, I thought it was a dream. But you know, I was still strong. Before I knew it, it was right in front of me. So when then I heard a voice, shrill, so shrill, and I called out, Kita boy, and I screamed. Is that screaming eh? that I transposed into the guitar when I recorded the song, you are pulling amazing. the strings? Nobody had ever pulled the string before, and that was another discovery. And the people was so sure that if you see Mami Water, never you run away. That was just the lyrics. Sing the song of love, sweet melody, eyes. Twang the guitar, twang the and, and, you, and, and, the, and, and the mommy water was right in front of you yes, when you were trying. Yeah, just within the few moments like that, she floated away. And I picked up my camper. And you took off. Took off. <laughs> the following day, I assembled my band and I rehearsed the song. And it was a big hit. If you see mommy water, if you see mommy, bring, give me that guitar there. If you see mommy water, never, never you, you run, run away. away. Wow. Give me that thing hanging there, that small thing. Yes. Okay, that's the sixth finger, isn't yes. it? That's the one. That's the so sixth finger. So this is the latest. I've just invented the sixth finger. I will show you. If you see mommy water, oh. you know if you see mommy water, oh. never, never you run away. Oh, you run away, did you? Yeah. <laughs> No, I didn't run away. I only left. Okay. I, I only left when she had departed. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, <laughs> never run away with the <laughs> Again, come to think of it, you are perhaps the first um Commissioner for Arts and Culture ever, you know, in Nigeria. You are right. You are right. Why in Nigeria? Because it never happened before that there's a Ministry, there's a, a ministry of Arts, Culture and Tourism. No. Tourism used to be in uh, information. So, but Benin Edo carved it out as Ministry. For me, after my, you know, when I became a Commissioner, they carved it out for me as the Ministry of Arts, Culture and Tourism. So that was the first uh, Ministry of Arts, Culture and Tourism in Nigeria. What was your responsibility then? What were you supposed to be doing? As... I I was uh, not Just to fact, promote to promote the promote arts. Promote tourism, promote the arts and then uh, you know I was good. In fact that gave birth to my museum because all the blueprints I made they were the government was not able to actually come up my dream to to realize my vision. I don't know uh, any museum. We're still going to have a tour of that museum. Yeah, sure. But I don't know any museum that is as rich as that. Thank you. How did you... Oh. So I, I, I named it Revelation uh, Palazzo Museum. This is supposed to be a tourist, you know, center. How often do people come here to, you know... I do. Uh, tourists. Um, students, visitors, people from abroad. Ambassadors and uh, tourists visit uh, the visit here. It was a cost of the ride. I wish you were here one of the, or you'd be here one of these days where we have uh, some students coming. So it's a behave of activities. Okay, the, the students come on a regular oh, basis, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Yeah. They do. The museum itself has a department a section of where Fifteen. punish punishment is meted out. <laughs> So, <laughs> we called out on the city of blood in those days. How were you the, able to, you know, uh, portray that in yes, sculpture? I, I read, you know, you, you know, just doing sculpture, it's not all just doing sculpture, you have to, there are nine courses in sculpture. So I came across some of those, you know, the 
we do art history. From the art history, I was able to get that one. Then you have the theory of sculpture. We have drawing. We have the casting. We have uh, the uh, for the where we use slides. You know, to then uh, plastic arts as well as for nine courses. So from the art history, I was able to gather that uh, city of blood and uh, put the artworks together. It's scary. Yeah? Isn't it? <laughs> it's scary. How do you uh, protect into that intellectual property mm -hmm. in a climate like ours? The way you can protect intellectual property in Nigeria is to make it known to Nigerians that an intellectual property is like money, like you know, Naira. If you duplicate Naira, you are in for you have problem. They jail you because you don't have right to duplicate. Is that like stealing? It's more than stealing. You know, they, they, so if you duplicate somebody's intellectual property, a work, to journalism, you know, and uh, copyrights, uh, the punishment should be the same thing as when you duplicate you make fake, fake uh, Naira. Your, your song, Jeremy, how much money did you make from that song? And I'm sure you're still getting some royalties from it. Is that, is that true? It, no. Intellectual property does not end. Yeah. You know, it, it goes on, it will live after me. You know, so, um... It's not, if it was oil money, then you can, you can uh, probably know how many blocks and how many, but I know Jerobi was the first gold disc in Africa, and it's still counting. But initially, lump sum, how much did that fetch you? I don't know. I don't know, because uh, probably we have to ask uh, the, uh, company at that time they are still in existence. That's where the Is that po the, poly the, polygram or poly uh, poly Philips, 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 Philips. Philips. Yeah. They're all extinct now. Yeah, aren't they? So, yeah, it's, not, it's not possible to know an example but it made uh, well it opened the door for me and uh, the door has remained open ever since then till now but I have also been able to move with time. The other day I saw you on stage, still jumping around. I am and when are you going to stop? No, 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 no. I, I am not going to stop because if you stop working, everything also will stop. If you stop reading, you also everything will stop. You know, if you water water flower, it will uh, blossom. If you water the flowers, if you don't water them, they will wither. That's how the brain is, and that's how the body is too. So, if you are asking me to stop performing or jumping, you are asking me to move steps backwards. I know you're actually a sportsman, and I remember reading a bit of your bio where yeah. you uh, set a record in high school. It's still there to and today. You put some money, you know. Yes, a <laughs> is, <laughs> is the value of the money the same now? Or? No, it would be multiply. How, much, not how, able how, to how much is it? it? At that time, if you go by the price now, it would be around two million naira. No, they have not been able to to, to break the record. I was a school high jumper. I was an athlete, school high jumper. And then I set, set up a, uh, set a school high jump record. Till now, and I had a style we call it Western rule. I come from the West, 
45 degrees <laughs> and I step only six steps and hit the floor and jump up vertically and roll over the bar, flat, you know, horizontally over the bar and then land on two legs. And one you're, leg you're, you're still into bodybuilding, are you not? Of course, we have just walk out in the gym and so on. So I, I believe my philosophy, one of these, the best is yet. I've seen pictures of uh, uh, perhaps children or wife, but I, I do recall that some time ago you had 30 years anniversary with your wife. Oh, great. You just reminded me. Uh, let me just give me those two. The, the, no, the two close. No, no, no. These two. Yes, and the, and the black baby. Yeah. What are you trying to show me? I want to show you. You just asked the question, and that leads to this. I celebrated 30 years of my marriage, my wife. And, okay, you read this one. I'm, you you I'm, have been married for 30 years. That, yeah, that's, constantly. That's what, I'm a Catholic. I'm a, right. It is my honor and pleasure to celebrate you for your very sincere and unconditional love and support. With a special and personal appreciation, Bright Price, this day, the 8th of April, 2018, just for you, the sum of one million naira. You paid one million naira as, as a bright price for her. For her, because the one I paid was for her parents. She never benefited from it. For for this, to from the appreciation, this is for her. For the dictator. But isn't she worth more than a million naira for all the it, money it you just, have? It just, look at you. Read this one. This is more than what. Just read this. Okay, 30 years of marriage award. Okay, you presented this as an yeah, award. Yeah. Presented to Princess of Sarethi Waifu, Mrs. as the best woman in the world by Professor Victor Efosa Waifu, M-O-N, J-P, husband. So that's... that's the Best that's, woman in that, the world. Yes. So that means you must have been experimenting. That's rounds it up. <laughs> <laughs> money, money. <laughs>
and you're enjoying it thoroughly. Anyway, hard work, hard work. yes, well done. You know, thanks again for being on the program. The chat with Professor Sir Victor Efosa Owaifo. I'm Manny. See you next time. The chat is produced by Channels Television. You can watch it again online. Just visit our social media platforms, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook.